we're going to upload a YouTube video using TubeBuddy and we're going to upload a YouTube video without. So right now I'm using my Firefox browser and TubeBuddy is not connected. TubeBuddy is actually a Chrome extension, so you would use it on Chrome, but I want you to see what the difference is, why TubeBuddy may be something that you'd consider. So let's go into my account. I'm going to upload a video that I made. It's kind of like a test video and I'm going to use the beta upload that comes up right here for upload video. All right, and here we go. I went ahead and made a test video in my Camtasia account. And it actually just goes right to a folder. And I pull it up from here. And you wanted to upload your MP4 file, just in case you weren't aware. I do have a full video of uploading a YouTube video and all the steps. But for this video today, I just want you to see the difference of using TubeBuddy and not using it. So my video is uploading. You can see that I already have my description in there, um, ready to go. I don't have to type it in every time. All right, it's already loaded. I did something short on purpose. Now you can add a thumbnail right here. We're not gonna do that today because like I said, I, I wanna show you what happens when you use TubeBuddy and when you don't. Now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do any other parts. I'm going to um, save it as a draft and then go back into my account because I want you to see uh, where I have to put everything in like my um, keywords and all that stuff and the tags. It's a little bit easier to see. It's almost done processing. Okay once it's finished processing again using this uh, version you can go in and, and set you know your your video to show later and all that stuff. That's that's not what we're doing today. Uh, all right, so I'm going to hit done and I'm going to go in my list of videos and I'm going to pick up the draft. So I finished that out and now I want to, I, I went back in into my list of videos and it's in draft mode still because I haven't done everything yet. Um, but I want to show you the tags. Okay, so here let's say I named it um, how to find SEO okay I have to sit here this is it I have nothing else popping up so I really want you to get a good shot of this how to find SEO I have to go find all my tags myself all right now I'm gonna upload this a video not the same one because YouTube will notice it's a duplicate but I, I made another sample video and I'm gonna upload it in Chrome and it has the Chrome extension TubeBuddy connected to it. So look here, everything is pretty blank. It, ha it does have an end screen here. I can go in and list my video. I can put the playlist in, but it's very, very basic. And these are all the steps that you need. You need to do your thumbnail. You need to put your tags in. You need to list it um, when you're gonna post it, your playlist and your end screen. If you're monetized, you can add cards, but that's it. There's nothing else. I can sc I'm scrolled all the way to the bottom nothing else here all right so i'm going to save that and now i'm going to go pull up chrome and we're going to upload a different video all right i am in chrome i just want you to see that that i moved over i didn't want you to have to go through all that um, my other video here is called sample delete number two and we're going to go ahead and upload that like i said i can't upload the same one because um, youtube will recognize it as a duplicate now you see here I'm using upload video beta just like I did on the other one and so far everything looks pretty much the same doesn't it let's go to the next page I can go in I can add my playlists my tags my end screen everything pretty much looks the same doesn't it All right, so now we are looking at the view where I opened it back up to edit and look at how much more is here. If I go down here and I say, I add a tag that says how to find SEO, search engine optimization. Now keep scrolling down, look what happens. 
look at all the suggestions. This comes from TubeBuddy. I can go in here and it's going to tell me different suggestions. Okay. Now it was using, see how it says delete and all that. It's actually basing that on my title. So let's change the title because <laughs> we're not getting uh, an accurate um, suggestion. SEO, or let's just call it search engine optimization. All right. So now what I'm going to do is refresh down here. Refresh my scores and it should refresh what it brings up. Okay. Now see how it changed. I changed the title and it's bringing up different ideas for search engine optimization. Now I just typed in my first keyword. Typically I type in the exact same keyword as my title. So how to find SEO. It has a score of 36, which is pretty good. That score, the higher it is, the better. That means it's searched a lot. If I go down here, I can use any of these keywords. These are the most popular keywords. They usually have a score next to them. So let's, um, let's go up here and I can go into the suggested list and under suggested, it will have a score next to them if they're not in the other. I don't know why sometimes that pops up and sometimes it doesn't. It might be because I changed it a couple times. Now this popped up suggested tabs. Keyword search is a great keyword. See how the number's 13? And I can just put a little click next to these. Now you want to read them. You don't want to just click them because they came up. Because sometimes what your video is about doesn't really match the keyword. And it's not really going to help you. It's, it is a a tool and it's doing the best it can to find the best keywords for you. Um, but you know, I was looking for uh, SEO research keywords. All of this is actually applicable. And over here um, I can find, I can look too. are there different keywords that can I, that I can add. I always add my name. So that has a high score, uh, make money online. It has to do with that uh, affiliate marketing for beginners. So I can look, and see are there any channel keywords that would match as well. And then I close it and all those keywords will show up. But look how easy that was for me to find the keywords that I need. And here it's even gonna, gonna give me a score, 271 characters out of 500. So I didn't even use them all. So I can go back down here and find more. Now what I'm trying to do, this wasn't a good topic by the way, um, but see this vidIQ, um, that's a vidIQ score, that's not going to help, the actionable score right here. Um, you want to get that as close to 50 as you can. Typically I will go in and find keywords and that score will go up to like 46 or 47. Um, but this is what TubeBuddy does, okay? TubeBuddy also, look up here at the top, there's something else that I love that it does, but it, it tells me actively how many people are searching for my videos. And in the last 60 minutes, there's been seven. And in the last 48 hours, there's been 297. I'm still a newer channel. I'm like, I'm very close to being able to get monetized um, probably by within the next few weeks. Um, so, but it's been cool to watch those numbers go higher and higher. You want to be careful about comparing yourself to some of the bigger channels. You want to watch them, see what they're doing, try to learn from them. But I don't want you to get so hung up in looking at them that you compare yourself to them. Everybody started where you are now, whether you're at 10 subscribers or if you have 3,000 or 10,000, everybody started with zero. We all started at the same place. But this is a tool that's going to help you be better with your search engine with your keywords okay so that the analytics will pick you up better or the ag algorithms i'm sorry so anyway that is one simple thing that tubebuddy will do for you um there are lots of others but i wanted to show that today for this video as the main thing so click below there is a, a link for you and the neat thing now the last time i checked if you're a new channel and you're under a thousand subscribers, TubeBuddy will offer you 50% off for your monthly fee. So it's usually $9 a month for the beginner. Um, they'll charge you 450. Uh, again, that was something they were offering. I don't know if it's gone, but check that out, especially if you're new. And I thought that was really nice of them to help the new the newbie get started. And the more I use this tool, the more I'm sold on it. Actually, I, I know I've made other videos. I said, I'm not really sure, but 
because I was still deciding between TubeBuddy and vidIQ and I'm leaning towards TubeBuddy to be honest. Um, I think there's more in there that's going to help you with your channel. All right. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.